last few years, concussions have been a big topic of concern in the sport of football. A player can only take so much punishment to the noggin. Locally, schools are doing their part to ensure safety comes first for the athletes. Football season is just about to kick off. And players and coaches are eager to start. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, just, just to get out here I think is great. It's a time for gridiron fanatics to rejoice. We coming, we coming. Day, baby. But what is not being celebrated is the 250,000 concussions annually that occur as a result of collisions in football. This is a, an issue. It's an issue. But we can do things about it to help maybe prevent or, or lessen the, the effects. According to headcasecompany.com, a website dedicated to student athlete safety, Concussions have increased by 200% for athletes 14 to 19 years old in the last decade. But with the eye-opening stats comes more awareness to head trauma. Let's go. Shannon Gear, Iowa Western's head athletic trainer for football says, the more information collected, the better. Since 2017 with um, the NFL doing their own studies, um, there's so much more research out there that helps us um, help our players and make sure that they're safe. For the Reavers, a multiple step procedure is used anytime there's a question of head injury, including using the latest technology. We have the software um, called the impact test that actually tests the kids and how their brain is functioning with memory. There's little question, the hits can be violent. Head football coach Scott Strohmeyer says his staff constantly stresses the importance of using proper form when tackling. You know, there's technique in how to tackle and not leading with your head and, and I mean, it's a physical game so there's some things you are going to come with the game, you know, but I think if you can prevent just some of the tips and how you do different things um, could help minimize. I don't think there's a cure, um, but it could help minimize the chance of getting one. The problem may be even bigger at the high school level as 47% of sport concussions are reportedly linked to high school football. Game officials have taken notice as well, enforcing strict penalties for hits deemed unsafe. St. Albert head coach Kevin Colgett says it's important to adapt to the new rules. It's, it's a huge public awareness thing now, and in order to make the game safer or do what we feel we need to do to make the game stay alive, there's going to have to be changes and we're going to have to learn to live with them. Advancement in studies and high-tech software have helped trainers and coaches across the country make educated decisions about player safety. Hit. It's also helped that manufacturers of helmets and pads find solutions as well. The equipment we're in now is collegiate equipment. Um, and it's, it's simply because we want to take every precaution necessary to make sure our kids are safe when they take the football field. As the Falcons take the field August 25th and the Reavers the following day, winning will be important, but so too will be the safety of the players on the field.